What is going on, YouTube? We are going to jump down into the top-down view and open up this box of March of the Machine. This is a bundle. It comes with eight set boosters, a special die. Um, we get a full set of lands, and then we get a foil box topper. And then, obviously, the card box as well that comes with it. So... I'm very excited to open this up and find out what is inside. I very much prefer opening set boosters. I think that they're a lot more fun as far as the types of cards that are included in a set booster. Um, I think that there's a lot of excitement that goes into opening them. There's a lot of fun things you can get. I like, I don't mind doing booster packs draft boosters um however i much prefer draft boosters for just limited i much prefer set boosters for just the fun of opening stuff up the key art for this set is very cool there's lots of really heavy neons this yellow is featured a lot this bright pink is also featured a lot and then we've got this like kind of construction checkered chevron pattern um obviously we've got teferi uh we've got thalia and we've got i can never remember his name the elephant guy from strixhaven what is his name oh no Oh my god, what is his name? I'm just going to look it up because that's going to bother me. Unless someone in chat knows, it can beat me to it. If you're watching this on YouTube, pause it. Comment below. Tell me what his name is before I find it. Quintorius, that's his name. So we've got we've got Teferi, we've got Thalia, we've got Quintorius, we've got the Realm Breaker jumping into all the different realms. There's a Zendikar cube there. That looks like Kamigawa back there. Um, this is kind of giving me Theros vibes with the Spartans and the Greek structures. Um, and then on the front, we've got Big Mom at the on the top. And yeah, some of those realms in the background. So we're obviously jumping through realms. If you haven't yet, head on over to our YouTube channel to um, listen to my narration of the March of the Machine story. We did all 10 parts. They're on YouTube now. They're also on Spotify, too. If you look up Lorthos on Spotify, um, you'll find the full season of March of the Machine story, all 10 of the major story arcs um, or story episodes. Those are on Spotify and YouTube. Definitely give them a listen. It's a really intriguing story. We're basically in the Avengers Endgame portion of the Phyrexian invasion. Um, but let's let's open up this bundle. Let's open this up. Oh, it says nothing. Usually there's like a cute little slogan or something there. Oh, it was under the flap the whole time. Unite the multiverse. Fight to survive. Nice little hidden message there. And we open this up and we got a bit of a Theros back. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got, oh, this is a really neat piece of art. Okay, we've got Marchesa, Teferi, Elspeth, Chandra, Quintorius, and they're all kind of like defending or standing in front of their little portal to their realm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 
that's a nice little piece. And then on the back, oh, okay, there's this special set of, um, I guess, comic booky slash cartoony style art that is going along with this set. And this is the Elspeth uh, art for that. You can see Mom in the reflection there of her sword. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't read the story or caught up at all, um, Elspeth finally reaches her final form and becomes an angel. It is very cool and intriguing. On the box here, we've got a nice little like portal, a portal ripping style on the magic logo for the set. That's very fun. And then we've got the key art with the three characters. I feel like Quintorius might have a spark. Uh, we've got Kamigawa on this side. And then we've got the Theros stuff on this side. I feel like we're going to have it revealed that Quintorius has a spark. They still... Still haven't locked down this bit inside the box. So the older... The older bundle boxes used to not have this piece of cardboard. And it would crush the cards when you put the top on so they developed this piece of cardboard that just kind of sits inside there and it hits the edge of the box to keep your cards safe but they never attach this so every time i get a new bundle box because i keep a lot of my collection in these bundle boxes um i have to go in there with some freaking tape and tape down this little separator thing because it'll just fall out every time you pick it up otherwise. Real lame. Um, all right. We're going to put that right next to me so I can throw out garbage as needed. And then we've got this little insert, which has some punch out counters. We've got some card dividers. This one's Elspeth. And then on the back, we've got mom some more counters and then these things which no one ever knows what to use them for i guess they're just like markers maybe you put it on top of your library to remind yourself that there's a trigger of some sort happening um yeah those are fun then we've got our dice our spin down life counter this one is really beautiful it's got this angelic kind of white marble vibe to it and it's got a dull almost bronzy gold color on the numbers i kind of wish that the color on the numbers was a little bit nicer brighter maybe um but very nice looking die very nice looking die i like that gonna put that right there and then we've got our full set of lands so this is going to have, um, I believe, four, if I could get it open. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. So this should have, I believe, four, yeah, four of each basic land. Uh, the land art on these is extraordinary. But I feel like Wizards has been killing it with the full art lands so much lately that the basics are just kind of unimportant these days. Nobody wants to play with basics anymore. Um, which I guess is fine at the end of the day. It's just a little disheartening because you know that someone like put their time and effort into into doing this, these pieces of art. Um, basically you've got, uh, you know, the Phyrexian invasion happening across all the plains. So you've got notable pieces of scenery with these huge red portals from Realmbreaker opening up. And then there's like hidden Phyrexian symbols all over the place. Uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, but it's the full art from this set are quite magnificent. 
like it has been the last few sets, every time they release a set, it's like, oh, there's my new favorite full art land. And then they release another one. It's like, oh, there's my new favorite full art land. I'll show you these ones, the ones we just opened on Twitch. Um, the Phyrexianized full art lands from Phyrexia all will be one were amazing. I think my favorites are still the Kamigawa full art with the Japanese art style. And then we've got our box topper, which is a foil Galta and Mavrin. So these are going to be, um, I believe these are unique art. These packages are really hard to open. Um, so this is going to be, a. Uh, in every bundle, you get a nice foil copy of Galta and Mavrin, which is a very powerful card. A 12-12 for seven. Um, that's fun. And then you get a full playset of foil versions of the lands. Usually when they do the gift bundle is when you get the um, full art versions of lands but sometimes you can hope i always hope that we're gonna get the full art versions every time doesn't always happen but what can you do i'm just gonna put these with the other lands and then we could start opening some packs so again these are set boosters not draft boosters keep that in mind as we go along they're going to have a lot more of the alt cards in them there's a full set an extra sheet is what they call it it's basically a full other sheet that they slot in to specific slots um, and on that sheet is a bunch of like famous names and places um, characters that you know people love that are getting the full art treatment from their respective plane because the treatments either weren't out at the time or um, they just didn't get that treatment when they came out. So they're being reprinted here. Let us get up close. Again, the key art on this set is really cool. Like really bright neons. This blue has like this unique like shimmer to it almost and obviously teferi is a badass so good on him bringing zalfir into the fold uh i do not know the order of these boosters yet so we're just gonna wing it oh our first our first pack is a signed art card nice uh we're just gonna wing this we get a forest Gloomfang Mauler. Pretty awesome looking piece of art. If you haven't yet... Ooh. Island Cycling Title Terror. If you haven't yet... Um, know that our full set release... Or set review is on YouTube. So if you want to go back and watch those... Definitely do so. Alabaster Host Intercessor. Stormclaw Rager. Ooh. Nice. And we get a completed Huntmaster. Skyclave Aerialist. And this has the evolved side on the back of Skyclave Invader. And then we get our first battle. Battles are the new card type. Um, when they you pay their casting costs, when they enter the battlefield, you choose an opponent to protect it. And then you have to deal damage to it to defeat it. This is its battle counter. Um, so when you pay for it to enter the battlefield, you get the ETB trigger. And then once you defeat it, you flip it over and it becomes something else. Sometimes it's a sorcery. Sometimes it's a creature. Uh, this one is overloaded mage ring, which is nice. It lets you copy a spell. But yeah, our first ever battle. Love it. I don't even know where to put those. I guess I put them in blue, right? 
just keep them in their color family. Uh, we got C Pod Caretaker. Ooh, our first uh, Multiverse Legends card, Yuri, Master of the Review. Look at that Ravnica art is so cool. Very cool. I love that. So good. And if like, if you've been playing a while and you have some favorite legendary creatures, definitely check out this list because there's quite a few um, cool ones. Oh, we got another battle. Our rare slot is Invasion of Kaldheim. When Invasion of Kaldheim enters the battlefield, exile all cards from your hand, then draw that many cards until the end of your turn. And it flips over into Pyre of the World Tree. Discard a land, Pyre deals two damage to any target. Whenever you discard a land, exile the top card of your library, you may play it this turn. Damn. That's cool. And then we got a Foil Volcanic Spite with some like really bad printing lines on it. I don't know if it comes across very well in this video, but there's some really nasty vertical print lines on it. Uh, volcanic Spite is fun. Oh. Oh. We got a list hit. That's fun. Imp's Taunt. Instant with buyback three. Target creature attacks this turn if able. That's really cool. Look at that art. Scared Karn, and there's like just a wall of imps behind him. That's really fun. That's really fun. Cool card. That was a fun little pack. We got our first multiverse legend, Yuri. Got some battles. So cool to open up new card types. So cool. Well, we got a double-sided token, it looks like. Our art card is Elspeth. Beautiful. We got a foil planes. Timberland Ancient. First green. Uh, I just needed this dice over. I can make some more space, I think. There we go. Knight of the New Coalition. Karsis Depth Guard. That's, this guy's cool. Look at him. Screaming into Oblivion. Attentive Sky Warden. Remotion Greatsword. Nice little piece of equipment. Ooh, Joyful Storm Sculptor. The art on that is so amazing. So very cool. Um, oh, I don't know why I put Skyclave Ariel. We got an Aetherborn Agent. I was really hoping to open one of these. I love this card. We got Invasion of Muraganda. Four and a green. When Invasion of Muraganda enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. Oh, we got a Tetsuko Umazawa. Uh, quickly, the backside of that battle is a Primordial Plasm. A little goopy boy. Pretty fun. Tetsuo, Tetsuko Umazawa. Great card. One and a blue for a 1 3. Creatures you control with power toughness one or less can't be blocked. Very awesome. Multiverse legend there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. we got a Kogla and Yadaro with the full art special treatment. That is gorgeous. My God. Look, it's, I feel like I'm opening a Pokemon card. That is so cool. Big team up energy. And then we got a foil Igna Rune Eyes. We got two Multiverse Legends in this pack. With that special Kaldheim uh, 
art treatment. That is stunning. And then we get a monk token. Fun. That was a good pack. Yeesh. Big time pack openings. All right, next pack. A nice little Dorgan. Ooh, Tranquil Cove, nice. So they reprinted all of the Gain One lands um, for this set. Very fun, uh, very useful lands. Furnace Host Charger, Etched Host Doombringer, lots of hosting going on. Collective Nightmare, Stoke the Flames, love to see it. Love a good Stoke the Flames. Blight Reaper Thalid transforms into a Blight Sower Thalid. Very fun. Uh, that's a black card. Invasion of Belanon. Transforms into Belanon War Anthem. Oh, this is a nice little Wantham. That's fun. And then we've got Brimaz, Blight of Oresco. We got a nice little um, commander card here. This is the commander set symbol for uh, March of the Machine. Brimaz is one of the face commanders, I think, from the precons. Pretty cool Phyrexian cat in Orzov colors. Oh, we got a Yadaro Grave Gardener in the Strixhaven art. Look at that. That's amazing. That looks so good. Oh! Holy shiza. <laughs> Yo, we got a monkey. I'm just leaving that up right away. I don't even care what's underneath it. Spoilers. Oh my God. We got a Ragavan. Oh, we got a Drana and Limvala. Nice little team up card. We got a Foil Eyes of Gataxis and an Incubator token. Holy cow. Look at that. In the like masterwork frame and everything. Amaze. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <gasps> Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, I gotta tweet this out. Oh, one second. Uh, I'll go back to full desk. Yo! Oh my god, that's so exciting. That is so incredibly exciting. What's it's at a hundred dollars right now. Only the like foil version is more expensive. The Halo foil version is three hundred and thirty-two dollars. The foil version is a hundred and fourteen. Oh my god, I've got the hiccups now. Oh no. Oh my god.
Wowza. Okay. Um, sure. That's amazing. Look at it. Oh my god, that's so good. Do I have a hard sleeve? I do. The problem is I want to play with them. I'm building a Merktide deck for modern. I'm building Merktide for modern and you need to have four Ragavans. Oh, okay. Let's keep going, shall we? Let's keep going. This is set booster number four. Oh, we got a card back. Might be another listy. Huge. All right, a nice little knight. Ooh, full art planes. We got volcanic spite. Wildwood escort, nice. Kithkin billy rider. Onake Javelinier. Gift of Completion. Phyrexian Awakening. A Tarkir Dune Shaper transforms into a Burnished Dune Stomper. Nice. And then we've got a Invasion of Eldraine. Nice. This one transforms into the Prickle Fairies. Pretty cool art on that. That's a cool invasion. Then we got a Fearia, Judge of Valor from the Multiverse Legends. This is a dope Orzov Angel Cleric. This one's going straight to my brother. Uh, that's a good good hit. Oh! 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 oh. Oh. oh, and we get a Shelly in the same box. Shieldred oh. transforms into the true scriptures. Oh, this box is popping off. That is so good. Love that. And we get a foil placid rotten tail. I love this art. Look how cute that little guy is. And then, oh, we got juked out by the card back. It's just a blank token. That is huge. I love that. Shelly and a Ragavan in the same box. Big, big time wins. Big time wins. Let's go. Let's open another one. Pack number five. Oh, we got a Teferi token or emblem. We get a mom art card. A rugged highlands. Nice little land. Mirrodin avenged. Attracts his fall. Furnace Gremlin. Orexian Sensor. Harried Artisan transforms into a Phyrexian Sky Flare. Very cool. Uh, we get an Invasion of New Capenna. Transforms into the Holy Frazzle Cannon. That's fun. Um, then we get a Yargle Glutton of Urborg. 
in our Multiverse Legends slot. That's pretty fun. And then we get a Rona Shieldred's Faithful. Nice. And oh, ho, ho, the hits keep coming. A Garuda, Doom of the Depths. Oh my god, the art on that is so good. I love it so, so much. And we get a Croxa and Kunaros. Damn. And a Foil Tangled Skyline. Okay, these packs are fun to open. There's so much going on. We got... We got another Multiverse Legends companion. We got a Croxa and Kunaros. Very cool. Elder Giant Dog. A dog. A good boy. Finds asleep. All right. Pack number seven. Nope. Pack number six. Oh, we got another card back, but it might be a freaking token. I hate that they do that. Juke me out with their blank tokens. Uh, a cool piece of art. What is that from? Botanical Brawler art. A Plains Alabaster Host Sanctifier Rashing Frontliner Etched Familiar Oh no, the little fox got Phyrexianized A Shivan Branch Burner Pond Dragon Wicked Slumber An Artistic Refusal Nice Bonded Herd Beast Transforms into A Plated Kiln Beast one an invasion of Moag. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Transforms into Bloom Wielder Dryads. That's fun. Uh, we got a Shauna Sisei's Legacy from the Multiverse Sheet. A Rankle and Torbarn. Torbran. Little fairy dwarf action. And a foil coming in hot. Oh! A Mirrodin besieged from the list. Big. Big, big time. Big time. Okay, we got two more left. Two more left. Let's do it. I would really love an... Ooh. I want one of these guys, actually. They're the... The new virus beetle. Nazumi Informant. Full Art Mountain. Nice. Vanquish the Weak. Icker Drinker. Corruption of Tawashi. Tangled Skyline. Ooh, Seraph of New Capenna transforms into Seraph of New Phyrexia. That's a good one. That one's going to my brother, too. Invasion of Kai Lem transforms into Valor's Reach Tag Team. Nice. And we got Vivian's Talent. This, this is a cycle of Planeswalker talent cards from the Commander set. 
Uh, basically, they're enchantments that you can bestow on to your commander. It's very cool. Um, that one's very neat. The fairy's talent. This is just the talent hack. Fire song and sun speaker. Awesome. Very awesome. Itali primal conqueror. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god spicy Atali transforms into Atali primal sickness and 1111 trample uh, whenever Atali primal sickness deals combat damage to that player they get that many poison counters it's like an instant kill poison and then we got a etched foil version of Fire Song and Sun Speaker. Very cool. And an incubator token. Big. Big chads. Very big. I like that we got two talents in the same pack. This set is going to be so much fun to open. Ah, uh, we got a cool piece of art there with some samurais and 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 stuff fighting some phyrexians what's that from invasion of kamigawa okay that makes sense uh, we got a mountain a drag recycler oculus whelp eyes of gataxis assimilate essence elvish vat keeper Norn's Inquisitor. Pyretic Prankster transforms into a glistening Goremonger. Fun. And we've got an Invasion of Kaladesh, which transforms into an Aetherwing Golden Scale Flagship. Fun. Uh, we got an Igna Rune Eyes from the Multiverse Sheet. An Errant and Giada. Nice. Another human angel. This one's fun. This one's going to be a fun commander card to build around. And a foil pyretic prankster. And another token. Another incubator token. That one's cool. Uh, that, was, that was huge. Okay. I'm not even going to lie. That was absolutely bonkers. Um, I don't even know where to start. Okay. Lands there. We'll do green. red just pulling out all the the rares that's so fun the imps taunt no black rares blue and then white nothing in white either then we got our monkey and then we got a ton of these okay Okay, let me sleeve these up real fast. That was so much fun. It's so fun to open these packs. There's so much in them. 
the addition of the extra sheet with the multiverse legends is a lot of fun it brings back a lot of memories uh you get some familiar faces with new card art which is really cool um absolutely love to see it and then they've got these team ups from march of the machine where it's like two familiar people uh familiar mainline characters that are teaming up together to fight the phyrexian invasions very very lovely the transform cards are really cool this Itali Primal Conqueror is insane. The fact that if you hit once with the backside, you win the game. Your opponent, whoever takes that damage is dead. It's pretty great. Um, and then we got a rare listy, which is pretty cool. That's not... Usually the list cards are pretty muted. We got some commander talents. Sorry, I didn't mean to bash the camera like that. Very cool. I don't even know where to start looking at all this stuff. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm super stoked that we opened an uh, Tetsuko. I love this card. Put that in the box. And then we'll just start laying these out. I mean, that one's hard to see, but you get the point. I mean, the fact that we got a Shieldred and a Monkey. We got two of these really cool... Um, what do you even call them? Companions? I guess I don't need to lay out all of them. Very, very big. I love these. Look at the art on these. So good. Absolutely love them. This Yodora art with the Strixhaven. Errant and Giada. And then our box topper, which is the Galta and Mavrin. We even got a good list drop, which is rare. Invasion of Kaldheim. We got a Rankle and Torbrand. Tor very, very cool. I mean, this is where the spice is, though, right here. Look at that lineup. Look at that. Damn spicy. Damn spicy. Uh, one sec. I'm still chilling.
Well, well, well. This Atali is insane, though. How do you flip it? Nine and a Phyrexian to flip? Activate only as a sorcery? When Atali Primal Conqueror enters the battlefield, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of spells from among the non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. Sheesh. And then we got a freaking Ragavan. We got a monkey, people. A monkey. Um, I have to tend one real quick. I will be right back. Um, 